Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's guy, in today's video guys, I'm gonna show you how to optimize Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon to play it even smoother and uh, better than ever before. Like last time I showed you that we had a special uh, Citra build, the Citra uh, Valentine, but uh, I got actually somebody reached out to me. I'm gonna mention his name in the video as well and showed me actually how to optimize actually the Citra Valentine settings so that you can there are two settings so that you can actually play the game without stutter without any hookups and actually with low budget with a low budget hardware and for this video guys I used actually my Alienware uh, laptop that's gonna be uh, shown in the video right now It's actually a lower, lower budget uh, laptop. It's not even a PC. It has, doesn't have a dedicated uh, GPU. Uh, it runs. Let me give me a second, guys. Open my phone here. It runs a GeForce GTX 1060, three gigabyte. Keep that in mind. Not six gigabyte, three gigabyte. And it has Intel Core i7 60 6700 HQ CPU with 2,60 gigahertz. And I think the turbo is 3.3, if I'm not wrong had 16 gigabytes of RAMs and uh, that's all actually and uh, yeah with anything further guys let's hop to my desktop and let me show you what settings you're gonna need for the video uh, to actually uh, get it smooth running and yeah all right guys before we begin the tutorial I want to give a big shout out to Ben Shapiro this is the guy that actually to own all this all the credit guys for the settings I'm gonna show you today how you play it smooth and, and butter like it's smoother than butter guys the gameplay uh, you, you there we have two settings for the 60 FPS and for 30 FPS you can lock it at that and play it as smooth as possible guys and I gonna link his YouTube channel in the description below and his discord server that called it's named unofficial Citra builds yeah the Discord server called unofficial Citra build guys. And anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the Discord server and the YouTube channel in the description below, so you can go and check him out and give him a follow and join the Discord server. And you can always hit me up there as well. I I'm a follower as well on the Discord server, so uh, so you can reach out to me. You can reach out to him. We are always <laughs> there. Yes. With anything further ado, guys, let's hop in and get the tutorial started. So you open your Citra Valentine 13.4.0. There is no later uh, builds for that. It's unfortunately um, uh, stopped. They don't work on it anymore. Anyways, what you need to do is go to configuration guys, general. You go to custom CPU ticks for 30 FPS guys. For 30 FPS, you put in if I'm not wrong, it, I'm, and I'm not wrong, yeah. Uh, log in, yeah. For 30 FPS, guys, you put you put the CPU ticked at 6,500, and uh, let's see what was it there. And yeah, and the CPU clock speed at at 25 percent, like that. So if you want to play the game at 30 FPS at at 30 FPS at uh, 1080p whatever resolution you want it. So at 30 FPS, guys, 6,500 is custom CPU tickets uh, tickets and CPU clock speed at 25. And then we go to graphics. Um, I I recommend like try out try always like go from two native two native three native four and five. But I can guarantee you guys that you will be able easy. At least for my PC at low budget guys outside and inside like with the 1063 gigabyte graphic card and uh, four, uh, uh, four cores and six threads CPU I could play it outside and inside smoothly at 60 FPS at native 5 
And so that's what we're gonna do. If you have all that clicked, go to advanced, keep all those uh, enabled, enable hardware render, enable ignore frame, frame rate rain, rain temperation, enable hardware shader, disable accurate multiplication, uh, you, because it's going to reduce uh, reduce the performance and sharpen distant objects. I never clicked on it. Uh, enable uh, enable shader JIT and reduce shadering by saving shaded bleh, shaders to disk. Uh, I'll say here and all the settings done, guys. Apply OK. Go to your game file. Start it. And it should be locked at 30 fps all the time it's gonna go up sometimes it depends on your um on your pc how strong it is how powerful it is but as you might see guys here we have 30 fps and it should run smooth yeah you see that jesus christ man that's and keep in mind guys i have I have background animations let me show you have background animations for my for my wallpaper it's literally uh what's what it's called wallpaper engine i have the emulator and have a uh, mirrorless action recording on as well and it still runs smooth as butter baby and i can actually keep that like that and i'm going to do full screen here so you can see and you can see that the animation running in the background as well And this is this is the footage for my uh, actual rig that I always use the 270 Super and uh, 727 uh, Ryzen CPU with eight cores and 16 threads. And of course, I'm gonna leave the uh, I'm gonna leave the recordings that I made on my Alienware laptop with the uh, 1060 3 gigabyte and the uh, 6700 uh, HQ uh, Intel's Intel CPU with four cores and six threads so you can see that's actually they run the same and i wonder how much i can i can push actually now on my or my actual rig so we will try this out let's get you to gameplay you see even it shows 22 or 23 fps it still runs at 30. i know it doesn't make sense but believe me Let's see here. Yeah, can I skip that, please? Okay, I could skip it. And as you may see, running smooth. Doors open. It stays only at 27, 26. And as I told you, all the animations, all the stuff, the recording problem, and it still runs good. So that's only the confirms that when you're gonna play it at home, guys, you're obviously not gonna record and stuff and all that. There we go, 29, outside, outside, we are outside, guys. So let's go inside here. All right, let's go inside here real quick. Come on. Nice, look, look at the animations, smooth, clear, at five times native resolution here. I wanna go inside and see how much I can push the game, actually. If it's still gonna stay at 30, locked. Come on, Luigi, can we, can we skip all the bullshit, bro? All right, nice. All right. Even inside, it's the same. It actually, we, 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 yeah, we reach actually 30 FPS inside, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Let's... Boom. Smooth. Okay, so now I want to just check it out. How much can I push it? And where is, like, the stopping? Let's go to 7, native 7 here. Look at that. Native 7, guys. Recording, animation, all the problem. I do that on purpose. I want to see. Look at that. Let's go even higher. I know that's crazy, right? Let's go even higher. Let's go to 10. I, I, I just go on all, all, all the way to the bank. Look at it. It's still smooth. And this is with 30 FPS here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it to, to 60. Um, but was it again 60 FPS should be uh, let's see if I can open that and get the information Hello, right here up? boom hold up so for 60 FPS guy, 60 FPS if you guys you need here 14,000 
600. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, 14,600, and we need a 95% of CPU clock speed. Here we go. And the game should run really smoother now. And look at even that. Now it's 60. Look at that. And the game runs smoother, looks better. I do recommend 60 FPS, guys. I, I personally, but if you want to run the 30, go for it. And keep in mind, we had 10. Yeah, times 10. So with a lower, with a lower budget uh, GPU, guys, you can literally run it at... Um, you can literally run it at uh, 5 times resolution. Native 5. And with the high high specs GPU as a, as I have a good G, uh, CPU guys, you can run at 10, and you can have all the backgrounds and things. Believe me, if I tell you, I have I have literally like the animations behind me um, for the program. We have in the game, we have an, uh, the recording software. I have even a browser open. Let me show you. See that on the second screen, and on the second screen is ru is, is even running animation as well. All right. Um, I'm going to leave as well the settings for the 30 FPS and 60 FPS in the description below, guys. So you can go and get, get the uh, settings there in case it's not. And I'm gonna end this right here so thank you so much for watching and uh, i hope you enjoyed the tutorial as much as i did or the video that i made and once again thank you ben shapiro for uh, coming through dude hooking us up with them good settings really legendary settings here man as you saw in the tutorial guys in third fps locked runs like butter at 10 times native and at 60 fps as well 10 times natives no problem here at all and with low budget P PCs, as I uh, showed you as well in the tutorial, guys, with uh, 1060, 3 gigabytes, keep in mind, not 6 gigabytes, the lower version of the 1060, and a 4, um, four core 6 thread CPU, 6700 HQ, that is a laptop CPU and a laptop GPU, guys, it runs at 5 type native. If you're inside, you can go with uh, you can you can go with six and seven, but it, I don't ever see the difference. I really don't not. So if you just want to enjoy the game, put it at five native resolution, guys, and rock it like it's hot. With that all said, guys, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day, or else keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emu from Emu Gaming. Hey, and I'm freaking out of here. Peace.